Hi, so my name is Pierre David Letourneau, and today I would like to show you um, a summary of my final project for CSCIE 9. So what I did this semester as a final project is to create what's known as a branch and bound solver uh, on uh, in, uh, in parallel, so distributed over AWS services. Uh, branch and bounds are used for uh, various types of problems. In this particular case, I was interested in uh, binary uh, linear uh, programming which is a type of programming that heavier appears a lot in computer science and, and engineering. These problems are very difficult to solve. Uh, they're known as to be MP-complete, uh, and they're a greatest of generality, which means that we don't have um, efficient or polynomial time algorithm, really, to solve them. Um, nonetheless, uh, we can implement heuristics, uh, and uh, this is what I did uh, this semester. My... Um, my solver is based on the following structure. So what a branch and bound solver does is it will explore uh, the feasible set. Uh, in this case, you know, zeros and ones, you know, assign some values to, to the variables and solve a subproblem known as, known, known as a linear programming um, relaxation uh, for each of these subproblems. Uh, the structure of my um, system of my software is here in front of you. So there, I'm really using three services from um, AWS. One of them is the simple queue service. Another one is the storage service S3. And then the workers are EC2 instances. What happens uh, in my solver is that um, I will upload uh, from my local workstation, I will upload a problem statement to, um, to S3, and I will upload um, basically a, a problem identifier to SQS. What will happen then is that the workers will be monitoring SQS so as to identify whether a problem needs to be solved. When a problem needs to be solved, it will fetch the problem, it will solve the linear programming relaxation, and based on the result of that solution, will determine whether will determine what to do and how to explore the space. So uh, there's this process known as pruning and branching. Uh, pruning involves discarding entire families of problems because we've, they've been identified to be to be suboptimal. And um, branching is basically creating subproblems from from an existing problem. Could be the original problem. Could also be um, you know sub problems creating earlier. The idea is to fix variables uh, when we branch. So we basically say, well, we have this problem and the variable x1 uh, is, is, is a free variable. It can be either zero or one. Well, let's try two sub problems where x1 is equal to zero and x1 is equal to one and let the other variables vary. And basically we create these two problems, upload them to S3, uh, notify the queue, and um, and and the workers will keep going until either the queue is empty, at which point the problem is solved, which could take a long time. But generally, branch and bound solvers are good at finding um, at finding a solution, and that's reasonable, not necessarily optimal, but reasonable in a fairly reasonable amount of time. Uh, I will skip over uh, most of the material uh, in this little summary and jump to the results. Um, the results are here. Uh, basically, if you use a different number of workers, so here we have two workers, we have four, eight, and 16. And what we see is that the solution here, the, 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 the optimal value is minus 12 for that particular problem that I was solving. What you see here is that basically, uh, you know, four workers take two times less than two workers and eight workers take, take two times less than four workers. So this is a strong parallel scaling of the branch and bound solver. And ultimately, this is what we were looking for. Uh, generally, this is implemented in a um, multi-threaded platform, but in this case, I did it with um, AWS in a distributed fashion. And um, this concludes uh, my summary.